cancer, the most common cancer in the United States, with more than one million cases diagnosed annually. And while you think you might know everything, you might be deadly wrong. And here to quiz us is Dr. Doris Day, right here. <laughs> I suppose you get a lot of comment about the Doris Day. My parents name. knew what they were doing. That's all sure, I have to absolutely. say. <laughs> so, uh, you've been a doctor for a long time? Yes. Specialist in uh, cancer? In, in dermatology. In dermatology, yeah. Well, let's talk about it. You want to give us a little quiz? I well, have a quiz. Well, first of all, tell, how common is skin cancer? Well, there are over 1 million new cases every year. To give you an idea, it's more common than breast cancer, colon cancer, lung, and prostate cancer combined. But the great news is that when found early, it has a greater than 96% cure rate. That's why it's so good the skin's on the outside. Preventive. We can find them early, treat them, and then you're done. And you can see, well, I have a question about, there's so many laser treatments out now where you can take away the markers, the moles. Is that putting us at more of a risk when you can't actually see what's on the skin if you're doing it for beauty reasons to get rid of it? You have to be very careful with that. It should be only done by a dermatologist. And to remove a mole, a dermatologist either should sample the mole and know that it's an unimportant mole before they do that because otherwise you can take away the pigment the color but this risk is still there so you have to be and you be able to know what it's doing but don't they exactly. examine everything they take off your face we do but that's if it's done by a dermatologist mm -hmm. so a lot of people go to places that yeah. don't have doctors yeah they just don't want the freckles careful. or something and then you don't know what your marker yeah you know. you okay let's find out how much right. we, know what we know or don't know. all right question one um, a base tan will protect your skin true or false Excuse, say that again? A base tan. So a if you go to tan? a tanning salon and get a base tan. Oh, a base tan. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, I'm a question? New Yorker. This is how what's we What's the speak? question? <laughs> <laughs> a base tan, a base will, tan. <laughs> will protect your skin. True or false? Will protect your skin? Mm hmm False. Exactly right. A, there is... <laughs> <All right. Yeah. laughs> Yay! <laughs> There's no such thing as a safe tan. In order to make a tan, to make that color, you create a burn. The only way to get a safe tan is from a bottle. If you want to use a sunless tanner, right. that's fine. They make them in powders and sprays and I wipes. I have it on right now. And actually. it looks bad, yeah. so you can't tell. It looks I great. I put a little mousse on and, yep. yeah. So, but that does not protect you from the sun. You still need sun protection. Okay? Next question. Question. <laughs> you can get burned on a cloudy day. True or false? True. Yes, excellent. Well two. done. Ashley. <laughs> I see the worst sunburns on a cloudy day. I have patients really? who come in who said... Because people are, are, are they're not suspicious. They don't know. Yeah. Exactly. So they don't <clears throat> feel so hot. They spend more time outdoors and they burn. So you need sun protection every day, all year round, even if it's cloudy. And there is sunscreen for everybody. And also you need to protect your eyes. Sunglasses are important. Right. And the Skin Cancer Foundation recommends an SPF of 15 or higher. Look for UVA and UVB protection. The word broad spectrum helps. And make sure you reapply it every two hours otherwise it's as if you never used it oh my goodness next question <laughs> all okay. right okay only fair skin people get skin cancer true or false false that's right we are Absolutely three for three so far you're 100 percent give us something we don't know doctor <laughs> <laughs> but really give us a tough question well yeah. here's something that you okay. might not know yeah, is that while skin cancer can affect all skin types yeah. it can also occur where the sun doesn't always shine so you Through need to through your clothes in areas yeah. that never get yeah. sun. Right. If you have skin of color, you're more likely to get the most deadly type of skin cancer on your palms and soles. So you have to check from the scalp to all the way between the toes mm -hmm. once a year by a dermatologist more often if you have something new okay. or changing. Next question. Okay. <laughs> clothing protects from the sun, true or false? Clothing sun, sun clothing. Clothing protects from the sun. Protects from the sun? Yeah, protects, protects your skin you from, the, from sun. the sun. Yeah, true or false? <laughs> Unless it's SPF clothing. No, it's actually no. true. You're both kind of right because it's true. Clothing does protect you, but not as much as you think. So a so regular T-shirt. So what's the answer to that? The answer is that it's true, true, but some clothing protects you more than other clothing. For example, a darker shirt protects you more than a lighter shirt because the dyes in that shirt offer some protection. Ah. A typical T-shirt has an SPF of about eight when it's dry, three when it's wet. See, I always oh, thought yeah. white color was more protective. No, no, it's the dyes in the fabric okay. that protect you more. So depending on the color and the tighter weave, you have more protection. But you can look for clothing that's built with ultraviolet protection factor built in mm. right. that will protect that's you a I've lot seen. more yeah. wet or dry and it lasts through lots of washing. And there's also something you can add to your fabric softener that will make your own natural clothing more protective and it won't ruin the clothing. All right, we've got more coming up from Dr. Day in just a moment. <laughs> Dr. Doris Day got a new book out called Forget the Facelift. All right, what does that mean? 
It's my approach to beautiful skin. It's what you do from the outside, what you do from the inside, managing your stressors, and then procedures. And when you put it all together, your skin is beautiful and healthy, and it looks that way forever. Terrific. Certain right. things to look out for, right? That's right. So let's talk about the myths of skin cancer. <laughs> well, the, the biggest problem I have with skin cancer is that people ignore it. They think that it's just a nothing mole or they go into denial. With the skin being on the outside, you really have specific things to look for. There's three types of skin cancer. The most common type is basal cell, and there's about 800,000 of those every year. It can look like a red dot, and it can be in, mostly in sun-exposed areas, but not always. The next most common type is squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma is a little bit different. It has a slightly higher risk of spreading, but again, it tends to grow slowly and stay local. And once it's completely removed, then it's gone. So we can take care of these relatively simply. If you have a mark on your skin that doesn't heal within a few weeks, as marks normally do, mm -hmm. show your doctor. We can take care of it. The most the most deadly type, but thankfully the least common type, is malignant melanoma. And these are typically what we look for in the moles. So this is a picture of a malignant melanoma. There's about one person dies every hour of melanoma in this country, and there's no oh. reason for it. This is a big cancer killer of women in their 20s, and then again men in their 60s. So this is not an old person's condition, and it, we have to look out for it. Do they usually come with to, to uh, molds? It, about half of them come in existing molds and the other half come from just de novo, just naturally in the skin, they just appear. So you have to look at your own molds, have your dermatologist check every year. And we have our A, B, C, D, E's that we look for in our molds. So A would be for asymmetry. You could see it's different on one half than the other. Mm -hmm. B is border irregularity. You could see how this is so irregular in the borders. Mm -hmm. C is for color variations. This has a bunch of different colors. That's a danger sign. D is for diameter, greater than a pencil eraser head. That's the least important one. I've seen melanomas that are two millimeters, really tiny. And but even places like your scalp, you can yes. get Where something like this. Where the sun doesn't shine, palms and right. soles, scalp, and around the genitals, anywhere. So you, and how the eyes often as well. should you go to your professional dermatologist to get once a year? Okay. Sooner if there's anything new or changing. And then E is the most important one. That's evolving. A mold that's always looked the same. If you look at your skin and something looks different than it did before, show your dermatologist. We can take it off. Greater than 96% cure rate when found early. We need to catch these. We should never have these statistics yeah. for melanoma. And I think you're all doing a great job in, in, uh, in uh, s squashing this before it becomes a major situation. We try. And when you start that with your sun protection ahead of time, sure. and if you need vitamin D, <clears throat> get it from a pill. Don't listen to the people who say you need sun for vitamin D. You really don't. Have your levels checked. Take a supplement from food or from a pill if you need your vitamin D. All right. Thank Thanks you so very much, Thank Dr. You. Dr. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, one more time. Forget the facelift and the stores right now. More information, go to our website. We'll be right back with the inbox. More about Dr. Dave's tips on our website. Live returns in a moment.